There are smart people, and there are dumb ones. And this is a video for that. Dumb people with avoidable fates. So this one is a black woman, she was speeding, and she was gonna get an $126 ticket. So what does she do? Does she be a normal citizen, and pays for it, or does she run from the police? I'll play the video. Little was routine about this routine traffic stop. The minivan's driver, 39-year-old Ariana Farrell, argued with the state trooper who'd pulled her over. Go ahead and turn the vehicle off for me. Instead, Farrell, with her five kids in the car, took off, and the trooper pulled her over again. Get out of the vehicle! Get out of the vehicle right now! The trooper tried to pull the driver from the minivan. You're already facing evading charges right now. You ran away from me, okay? Sir, I pulled back over. I didn't run away. Farrell finally got out of the car, but then... Turn around and face your vehicle. Ma'am, listen to me. Farrell and the officer started to struggle as she got back in the van. Then her 14-year-old son rushed and scuffled with the officer. As backup units arrived, the officer pointed his taser at the boy and then smashed the minivan's windows. Open the door! Farrell sped off, and another officer fired his gun, apparently at the tires of the minivan. After a four-minute high-speed chase, Farrell pulled over in front of a Taos hotel. She and her son were arrested. This woman told, every child deserves a parent, but not every parent deserves a child way too seriously. So her dumb son tried to fight him, and the cop pulled a taser on him. And all of that, just for a speeding ticket. So this was a pro Black Lives Matter video, I think. And the shit she says. This was made on TikTok, and I don't have TikTok, so original video link in the description. Next person who has the sheer nerve, the sheer entitled caucasity to say all lives matter, I'ma stab you. I'ma, I'ma stab you. And while you're struggling and bleeding out, I'm going to show you my paper cut and say, my cut matters too. I know this is what Trump supporters wanted um, because standing up for Black Lives Matter put me in a, in a place online to be seen by millions of people. The job that I had worked really hard to get and meant a lot to me just called me and fired me because of everything. Um... I don't know if everyone's seen, but it's been circulating a lot. Um, my Black Lives Matter TikToks were picked up by conservatives and spread and shared, and people were demanding that I be fired, which I, I just got. <laughs> my job that I worked really hard for. <laughs> I love how she blames it on Trump supporters. Not saying sorry for treating to stab you if you say all lives matter. And what's warned for saying every life on earth? matters so her job was leaked and i think someone called someone at that job and that person called her boss so this was by le mona lisa vlogs so what did she do she had a gun and a thick book and her boyfriend pedro ruiz was testing that thing and what gun did she use a fucking 50 caliber desert eagle handgun you got it at point-blank range. And that's why Pedro Ruiz is dead. Alright, maybe if it was a much weaker gun, or she was far away, then maybe it would work. The Amazing Atheist made a better video on this, link in the description. So this one is a fake cop pulling over a real cop. I didn't need to explain. Just watch. Sergeant Rebecca Carlisle when she saw them in her rear view mirror. Oh my gosh, what am I doing to get pulled over? But Carlisle, who was in her full uniform, quickly knew something was wrong. Well, I'm not speeding. I'm in the city I work in. I don't recognize the vehicle. But Tomball police say when 21-year-old Benjer Piña Torres pulled his white truck alongside, something spooked him because he sped off. Carlisle followed, called for backup, and soon enough... Call 911. Because that's what I called on my radio. Pull into a fire station, a, a local EMS facility. Piña Torres is charged with impersonating a peace officer, a third-degree felony.